as we invite Reverend Dr. Fred Forson to give us the opening prayer. Let's give it up to him as he comes. Shall we pray? Our most gracious Father, we thank you for your benevolence through the years. We thank you for your wisdom that you endowed your children with, wherewith they established this great institution. We thank you for seeing us through 90 years. We thank you for the generations that have passed through this school that were shaped and reshaped and we thank you for the generation that is currently here. And we even want to thank you for generations that are yet to come here. We give you praise. We know that as we started with you, you see to it that everything is done according to your will. Grant us the wisdom that at the end of the day, there will be success. This we ask with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And all the saints of God shall say, Amen. Thank you very much for the prayer. Please be seated. A warm welcome to all of you. I am Evelyn Ampofo of the Language Department and my co MC. I'm Alote Bruce Kono Ableo, 83. Thanks. We, we believe we'll all be inspired for greater height by the end of the program. Next on the program is, we'll sing the hymn, hymn one, the Accra Academy hymn one, to God be the glory. The choir will lead us to do that. Thank you. <laughs> Please let's be upstanding as we sing the
Please be seated. We will now invite Mr. Paul Kofiyesu Daze, Assistant Head Administration, to give us the welcome address and the purpose of gathering. Let's clap as he mounts the stage. Good morning. Uh, you have already been welcome to this place, so I think I can proceed with why we are here. Anyway, the chairman for the planning committee, our guest preacher, all our invited guests, teachers, ladies and gentlemen, then students. Let me first commend you for making it to this all-important gathering. It is always a delight to be given this opportunity to appear before you and perform a duty on behalf of the school. It was just last Wednesday that we launched our 90th anniversary. But we cannot proceed with all the programs that we've lined up that is why we have met here this morning to present the programs and activities before the Lord because we cannot do it alone. So we agree with what Solomon said in the psalmist that unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. We cannot do anything on our own. So we have gathered here this morning and we are presenting the program to the Lord Almighty to take control and also to see the affairs of all the things that we put on paper. Yes, we are going to implement them, but we need his strength. And that is the reason why we have gathered here this morning. Again, on behalf of the school management, the board, the planning committee, teachers and students, I welcome all those who are here this morning to be part of this service. You are welcome to Accra Academy. Accra, Accra. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Kofi Yesu. Thank you. A cracker. A cracker. I'm going to buy some time. I won't pay for it. Just hold on to this. So, it's the first time I've seen people applaud themselves when they sang a hymn. And um, I have to say, you sang it so well. And it's refreshing to see you applaud yourself. So I think you should give yourself another round of applause. <laughs> it wasn't so long ago that we, we, used to, we used to all come here. These two. It wasn't so long ago that we all used to pile in here on a Wednesday and we sang from, from 1A to 1D. Um, Mr. Victor Kwa, would you attest to that? Did you also do that when you were here? Yes. And was it Mr. Uh, Mozart, Mr. Asidu Jechi? And we just sang. We sang and sang and sang. The last period. And um, the piano was right there. And we all sat here. Oh, wow. You remember? <laughs> hey, hey. He's blobby senior, blobby. Oh, wow. You don't say, oh, wow, 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 wow. Every time. Eh? It's an action you know, fiano. Anyway. And um, it's refreshing to also hear you all sing again. 
It brings back a lot of great memories that we're here. Mr. Kofi Yesu, thank you very much for your welcoming speech. And I'm going to introduce the board, sorry, introduce the, the people on the stage, our invited guests. We have Dr. Reverend Blelby, Reverend Dr. Fred Forsen. Please give him a round of applause. Blobby Louis Naughty. Please give him a round of applause. And we have another distinguished Blobby, Blobby Ambassador R. O. Solomon. And next to him is the Vice Chairman of the Anniversary Planning Committee, Blobby, Mr. Victor Kwa. And then next to him, we have Reverend Robert Ezekiel Asiedu. I have to add Blobby, Reverend, Doc, Reverend Doc Robert Ezekiel Asiedu. Thank you. And then we have Blobi, ex assistant headmaster, Ni Abe Ashon. <laughs> we have assistant headmaster, domestic, Mr. William Asu. Assistant Headmaster Administration, Mr. Kofi Yesu Dazi. And then we have the school chaplain. Pastor KP Odom. Um, we're gonna go on, continue with the service. Next on is the praise and worship to be led by Master Joseph Arthur and Master Prince Delali Kumuji. Praise and worship. So, Mr. Savior, are you ready? Oh, Amen. Shall we please be on our feet as we enter into a short time of worship? We want to worship our maker. Amen. Today is a wonderful day and we want to bless the Lord. Amen. Can you please lift up your voice and begin to magnify the name of God wherever you are? Within the space of one minute, can you lift up your voice? Uh, Ipelega dosa tapala bagabaha. Iradadadaba imaduanta nananaboja. Lift up your voice. We bless you, God. Yeah. <laughs> 
Lord. Can you bless the name of the Lord? Can you bless the name of the Lord? Can you lift up your voice? Lord of Baha. Father, we bless you. We pray may you receive your glory, receive your honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to, we want to, we want to dance and praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Oh, amen. Oh, are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
Shiyado, Jesus, Yahoma, Oh, Mashiado, Jesus, Yahoma, Oh, what's this? Mr. Mensa, a former staff, is also with us. Let's clap for him. <laughs> Madam Kate Ofori Adomako of the General Art Department, HOD, he's here. Let's welcome him. <laughs> Madam Perla Beto is also in the midst. Let's clap for her. All staff members, you are welcome. We want to acknowledge other Blobby also in our midst. Let's clap for them. Thank you so much for gracing the occasion with your presence. We want to invite Assistant Head Domestic, Mr. William Asun, to read the first Bible reading for us. Let's welcome him with a round of applause. Thank you. Today's first reading is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 12 and 13. 1 Samuel chapter 7, 
verse 12 and 13. And I read. Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen and called its name Ebenezer. For he said, So now the Lord has helped us. So the Philistines were subdued and did not again enter the territory of Israel. And the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. This ends the first reading. Akraka. Thank you, Mr. William Asu. Next is song ministration by the school choir. Thank you.
always do it better for them. Thank you for that powerful performance. God bless you. We have gotten to a very important part of the program. We will therefore invite the school chaplain, Mr. Odum, to introduce the speaker for the day. Let's welcome Mr. Odum with a hand clap. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. We thank God for this inaugural service, 90 years on. I'm here to introduce the preacher for the ceremony. And there is a man that has been here several times. He is a member of the Blau eighty-nine-year group, a very committed member of the eighty-nine-year group of the Accra Academy. And whenever we talk about the eighty-nine-year group, we can all testify of the good things they've done for the school. If you look at the renovation and extension of the dining hall, they did that for us. If you look at the tiring of the roads, they were behind it. And then some lighting systems. And Reverend Robert Ezekiel Seydu is a very committed member of that year group. This year, we have invited him several times, so he's a very popular speaker in our midst. He is the head pastor of Supreme Apostolic Faith International Church at Kaneshi just here. They have branches in the Central Region and the Ashanti Region. I remember when I sent him the invitation, he was outside the country and then he promised that he will be here. But then other event took place and today he had to be in Cape Coast. So I sent him a message, Reverend, Accra Academy needs you. The board members, Aoba, I mentioned all the necessary bodies. And Reverend said, I'll sacrifice what I'm going to do in Cape Coast and be here today. <laughs> so I believe that he's here once again to be a blessing unto us. Shall we welcome the man of God, Reverend Robert Ezekiel Asedu. Put your hands together as you welcome him. Thank you. Akraka. 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 The Lord bless you all. Let's share a word of prayer. Say yanda wasia yanyo tiafu ampara say ya ana wasia na yayo tiafu na misi nyami ye be ye ye ya ifi wara nyami. Ye betum pona if he wara unyami say ye be ye ye ya if he wara say ya na wasia na ya yutia unyami yeti wasidaka. Yet he was Sidaka, who shed you as Sidaka. Yet he was as Sidaka, can you be Yasia? Yet he won't want the Yachiku. Yana wasia, Uya yo siya, Missi asia yatiya, Yasia yeti, 
Let us pray. Indeed, we owe to you our lives. We are because you are. And every breath we breathe is by grace. So we have gathered this morning in this service. With every heart and every hand. With every voice and every breath. Lifted up in praise of you. For what you have done. For what you are doing. And for what you will do. We commit our lives, O oh God, into your hands. And ask that in this space of time, when we shall sit to hear your word, grant us receptive minds. Grant us understanding. Give us the wisdom to discern the truth and to apply it to our lives. O oh Lord, we give you praise for this great house and this wonderful institution we are all gathered here this morning because of what the school has done for us remember to bless remember to lift up remember to honor this institution and everyone that ever set foot in this place we ask oh god that you bless us in jesus name amen Put your hands together. Take your seats. God bless you. Hallelujah. We give God the glory for this morning. I want to personally thank God for this opportunity on my own behalf and on behalf of, like Pastor Odum said, the 89-year group. Because, but for the vehicle of 1989, we entered in 84. But for that vehicle, if I had missed that bus, I'm not sure I would have been standing here today. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Your amen is so weak. I said hallelujah. Because I joined that bus. And that's how come I'm here. Amen. And thank God that all of us that are here have the prefix be before our names. Amen. And I consider it a very great privilege. Amen. I want to thank the board chair and the entire board. I want to thank the headmaster. I want to thank the chairman for the planning committee and the entire planning committee. I want to thank my brother, Pastor Odum, the chaplain, and uh, every one of you in the school, staff and students. Hallelujah. It is a great opportunity. As I've said it, like Pastor said, I think this is my fourth time coming to this place this year and every time i've had the opportunity i've told you that you must say to yourself that you are great and you will be great and nothing but great i was expecting an amen which means let it be yeah. especially for the students yeah. you will be nothing but great that is all that you must think of and wish for Akraka is 90 years. And we have said this. In fact, we are the 89 year group and we wish that we had that opportunity. Hallelujah. But all things work together for good. God knows why. Amen. There are many feats and many things that this school has gone through. This morning, what I want us to do 
is to look at a subject having read the scriptures. Amen. When Samuel set that stone up, he set it as a stone of remembrance and for memorial. And in for each and every one of us, but for your religion and faith, we all have a particular day in the year that is set aside called our birthday. Amen. And when it is our birthday, the celebration is different. The excitement is different. In, in, in today's world, where there is social media, people will tell you 80% loading. Hallelujah. 90% loading. And the midnight before the day of the birth, it is 99.9.999999. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And a cracker is also 90 years old. And we need to rejoice and be thankful in our hearts for what God has done for us in our respective roles. Hallelujah. And for those, for those of you who are here, you are very privileged. Amen. To be part of this. Now, I went through briefly to search out for the significance of the number 90 in the Bible. And this is what I discovered. In fact, there is so much, but for the sake of time, I selected just some few. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 4, the verses 26, and to set to him also, there was born a son. And he called his name Enos, E-N-O-S. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So it means that one set was all along living, there wasn't the proper worship and service of God. And you know, Seth came after Cain and Abel, the very first two boys of Adam and Eve. But the Bible says that when Enos was born, then began the calling of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It means that the service of God had been truncated. And attention was not so much on God. As the Lord expected it. Until Enos was born. But watch this. When Enos in Genesis chapter number 5. The verses 9. Lived 90 years. He begat a son. Called Canaan. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. So Enos begat a son. After 90 years fellowship with God. After 90 years work with God. After 90 years knowledge of God. And what kind of father will he be. After such a grounding. Beloved. We need to connect to our God. If ever we wish. And we want. To see the goodness of the Lord. It shall never be and can never be. Until and unless we have gone to God. And thank God for the life of Enos. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. In Genesis chapter number 17. The verses 17. Then Abraham fell on his face. And laughed. And said in his heart. Shall a child be born unto him. That is a hundred years old. And shall Sarah. That is ninety years bear. Say amen. Amen. This is the question that Abraham asked the Lord when the angels had told him that a year's time today you will carry your own son. And he asked God, I am nine, I'm, I'm 100 and my wife is 90. Shall any good thing come out? I don't know why and what you are thinking seated here as we celebrate this 90th year. But I came to prophesy and to declare unto you that the best of our lives is beginning from now as an institution and as a people. Shall anything come? You know what the Lord gave to Sarah? The Lord gave to Sarah and Isaac. And Isaac means laughter. You will not cry. Especially for the form trees. You are going to write this exam. And nobody shall fail in this school. There shall be laughter in your mouth. Hallelujah. In Ezra. Chapter number 6. The verse is number 3. In the first year of his reign. King Cyrus. A king Cyrus, a Medo Persian king. A king who is not from the Jewish talk. 
He had so much wish and will and goodwill towards the people of God to establish the temple of the Lord. In the first year of his reign, King Cyrus gave orders concerning the temple of God in Jerusalem. Let the temple be rebuilt as a place where sacrifices are offered. And I declare that here on these grounds in the four corners of the school, the sacrifices shall be raised. That shall stand the test of time. To the glory of our king and our lord. That when we walk the, 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 the shores. And the roads and the streets of this school. The lord is imparting into us greatness. Nothing but greatness is what the lord shall impart to us. Cyrus said raise the temple again. And that was the point of communion. That was where God met with his people. Hallelujah. Every altar that is broken. May it rise again. Especially if it's an altar of God. And every altar that is not of God. May it break and be collapsed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It says let the temple. Be rebuilt as a place. Where sacrifices are offered. Let its foundations. Be set in its place. Its height. Is to be 90 feet. And its width. Nine feet. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I pray for expanse. I pray for growth. I pray for enlargement. I ask the Lord that to the right. May a cracker expand. To the left may we expand. Towards the north may we move forward. And towards the back may we move forward. Anywhere we stand may we take that place. As a people blessed of God. This is what Cyrus a heathen king saw and commanding and giving resources for the reestablishment of the temple of God. In Acts chapter number 27, the verses 28. And they let down the lead and saw that the sea was a hundred and twenty feet deep. And after a while, they did it again. Say did it again. Say did it again. And it was 90 feet. Now what am I talking about? This was when Paul had been arrested and been taken to Rome. They had suffered a shipwreck and storms in the middle of the sea and did not have a bearing. They did not know where they were going. This tempestuous uh, uh, Eurocliding wind took them off course. But the Bible says as they got to the shore, closer to the shore, they dropped the anchor and realized that it was 120 feet. And they couldn't get stability. But when it got to the 90th feet level and they dropped the anchor, the ship got stuck and it was no more blowing without direction. I declare that this school shall take a course. And we shall pursue the vision of the Lord. And everything that our founding fathers said. When they put this school together. It shall be established. Nothing shall take us away from it. In the name of Jesus. I want to speak this morning. About stewardship. Please help me by prompting me. Okay. Uh -huh, with a time. Amen. I want to speak about stewardship. Beloved. All of us here are stewards. As we commemorate this day, I want us to come into a place where you and I know that there is something that God expects of us by bringing us to this place. Whether you are a parent, whether you are a teacher, whether you are an old student, whether you are a student, whoever and whatever you are, we are all stewards of God. According to Acts chapter 13 verses 36. He says for David. After he had served his own generation. By the will of God. Fell asleep. Do you know that we shall fall asleep one day? Yeah. But before we fall asleep. May we not be seen to be messing around. May we not be seen to be wasting time. May we be seen as a people with something on their hands. Doing. Jesus says. In Matthew chapter number 25. 
that there was a man that was going on a journey and he called his servants, three of them. Amen. I said amen. amen. Come on, I said amen. amen. There are people outside there with their heads bowed down and I don't know if they are receiving revelations. Are the ushers in the house? You want to tell them to sit up and listen to the word of God. Jesus said, this man called three servants of his and he gave them talents. But you know something? The Bible says in John chapter 2, 23 to 25, Jesus knows all men. God knows all of us that are seated here. He knows what we can handle and knows what we cannot handle. You will never be given anything that you cannot handle. Say amen. amen. So for every one of us here from behind the table respectfully, everything that has been accorded, that has been given to us, God knows that we are capable. That is why he has given it to us to do. And we must not fail God. We must not disappoint the Lord. This man calls his servants. And the first one, he gives him five. Number two is standing. And see the master give him five. So what do you think his expectation will be? What do you think will be his expectation? Yeah, you. The second person. He would also receive five. Anamibua. Anamibua. Yeah. But he was given two. If you were the one, how would you feel? And then he called number three and gave number three one. So before he left for the journey, he had given what? Five, two, and one. The Bible says he went in that far distance, but he came back. Look, the master shall come back. I don't care whether you are a pastor or you are a teacher. Everything, you are a nurse, a doctor. Wherever you are sitting and standing, you will account. You will give an answer for the reason for which you did what you, do, you did. Every one of us, the master came back and for anyone he gave a talent to, he called them back. And he says, come and account for your stewardship. Come and tell me what did you do. And thanks be to God, God never fails God is omniscient. God knows everybody. He understands our capabilities and incapabilities. He knows it. The one he gave five, the Bible says he did not disappoint. He went to work hard with it. He went to do good stewardship with it. And when the master appeared, and he appeared before him, he said, Master, here you are. You gave me five. I have raised another five. I thought you were going to clap your hands. How many of us are making 100% in school? How many of us? The last time I was here, I told you how I struggled with mass. I had to rewrite it if you are not aware. How many of us are making 100? This man has made 100%. says, Master, you gave me five. I've made another five. He says, you are a very good and faithful servant. Stand here. Go and take all that. Then number two comes. And according to his ability, he was given two. He had also been a good steward. He had added two to it. It tells you that God knows us. He knows what each and every one of us can handle. He knows it. He knows it. And what you cannot, the Lord will not give to you. Unfortunately, and within our community and society, we are always never focusing on what we have. We are looking at what our neighbor has. Complaining. Undermining. Destroying. Bringing them down. Gossiping. Backbiting. Destroying them. But he focused on his two. And he had two. Wonderful. Say wonderful. And the one who was given one. The master knew his several ability. He did not give him two. He did not give him five. But knowing his several abilities, he gave him one. But what happened? The one who received one started to give the report of the master. Uh, you, I know you. You are a hard man. You are a very difficult man. 
A man who is never satisfied with anything. I know, I know what you were expecting. It was a trap. You gave the answer to him. <laughs> you gave them to him. You gave him. <laughs> May this never be our stories. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, I know you. He says, I, I, me too, I know myself. You account. You just tell me, what did you do? He says, because of your shrewdness and wickedness, I went and hid your money, your talent. Here you are in a napkin, unwrapped. He says, uh, Master, this is it. You know what happened to him? The one was taken from him. And the master who knew there are several abilities gave it to the one who had multiplied the five to get ten. You, you are too good. Beloved, if any of us here with whatever has been put in our hands, we shall work at it and work at it well, the Lord will add unto us. I said the Lord will add unto us. The Lord will open several avenues. Many more avenues shall be opened. Many more. God is not unfaithful. Hebrews chapter number 6, the verses 10. He is not unrighteous. Not to see your good works. If you, go, you, you work well, the master will see it. He will reward you. He was thrown into hellfire where there was gnashing of teeth. What am I telling you this morning? I said, look, we have come 90 years because others have labored. Others have been good stewards. Others have been very vigilant. They've been focused. They've been hard working. It is our turn now. This is our time. And we must rise to also hold on and take the baton and run with it. In 180 years, that is 90 plus 90 years time by now. I'm sure we may have all gone. Probably a few of you will still be around. <laughs> but most of us would have all, all, all gone. And our, and our bones would be very dry. Are you with me? When they are looking back. And accounting. May it be said that Robert Ezekiel Esiedu did not pass through a cracker for nothing. That you, listening to me, you did not go through these walls for nothing. And that you also have left a man's stone. There is something as a memorial to remember that you were here and this is what you added to the quota. In 2 Timothy chapter number 1. The verses number 5. The Bible says Paul spoke to Timothy about a faith that had run through the family. It started with the grandmother. Lois. Where is it, Eunice? Lois. And then she handled the faith so well she passed it on to her daughter Eunice. Eunice held on to the faith, practiced it so well, and passed it on to the son, Timothy. And Timothy came into contact with the apostle Paul. And the word of the apostle to Timothy, in 1, 2 Timothy 2.2, 2, is that you to find faithful men. You to look for faithful men, who you can pass on. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. Senior Victor... And uh, I remember when we were also, you know, going to have our anniversary. I remember the meetings we also held. Okay, severally. And they, they, they symbolized it by we passing on the coat or the flag to our 1990 year group. So in life, it's a chain. Life is a relay. You will do your part, finish it, pass it on. The Bible says David served his generation well. The question he did his bit very well. But how did he pass it on? How did he pass it on? And I want us to think about it. Beloved, the Lord is calling us as a nation, as a people. We have to be good stewards. Whatever God has put in our hands. Whatever is within our domain. Let us work at it. Let us do it. Such that when we are not there, people will say, oh, if, chief, what's your name? Savior. Savior. If Savior, I like your enthusiasm when you are conducting. 
Seriously. When we were doing that dedication, that was the day I took notice of you, of that structure. That's powerful. I see your zeal. Even without the organ, your excitement. So that when Savior is not there, oh, if teacher Savior was here, let that be said about you. Say amen. amen. I pray to God that for all of us here and for as many that will get to, get to know and go through the sessions in the school, may we leave a mark. May we leave a mark. May we, the angel asked Zerubbabel, you don't know this. May you leave a mark wherever you are standing and sitting. Don't just be a passerby. Hallelujah. When we went to the university, our vice chancellor, one of the things he told us, he says, don't just pass through. Don't just pass through UCC. He says, don't just pass through. But let the university pass through you. So we don't have to go to school school. Thank you. It never shows that this guy has ever gone through. It shall never be your portion. Because you will leave a mark. May the Lord bless his word. May he give you and I grace so that we will not be hearers only of his word. But we shall be doers. And it is only by doing that we are justified. God bless you. Bow your heads with me. Let us pray. Our Father, we want to thank you. Coming before you is a privilege. Because you share truths that this world can never offer. You open doors unto greatness. And you give favors that our hard work will never bring us to. Today, we have heard your word. As we commemorate this 90th year of the existence of this institution, we join our faiths to the fathers of this institution. We call for the greatness. We call, Lord, for everything that was ever wished and envisioned by the fathers. For anyone that will ever go through the walls of this school. I pray from the board, through the headmaster, through the planning committees, the school management team, the chaplain, the staff, and the students of the school. I pray that as you commit into our hands, whatever and wherever we are standing, you are giving enablement. That none of us shall disappoint you. For anywhere you are positioned us, it shall be said, as was said of David, we served our generation. We did what we could. And the Lord blessed our works. Our Father, I see you this word in every heart that has received it. I pray that it shall be mixed with faith. And it shall be a blessing to us and to several generations that shall come after us. I give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Let's do it better for him. Please put your hands together for him. You may be seated. Please sit down. Thank you so much, Reverend Robert Etiedu, Blown 89. God richly bless you. I have taken notes. And I hope you have done so. We are supposed to be what? Good stewards. And then, 90 years on, 90 years has a lot of significance. 
and Reverend has explained everything to us. Thank you so much, Reverend. Prayer is the key. We have to pray for the anniversary celebrations. We we'll therefore invite Reverend Dr. Fred Forson of Whitefields Commission Chapel to lead us in our prayers. Let's welcome him with a hand of applause. Hallelujah. How many of us want to pray? Let me see by hand. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to read a verse of scripture. Um, Proverbs chapter 12 verse 27. Then we'll pray. Shall we please be upstanding? The Bible says, the lazy man does not roast what he took in hunting, but diligence is man's precious possession. Amen. A lazy man. I thank God for Reverend who just gave the word. Shall we hear it for him once more? Hallelujah. We're going to pray that God will turn us into diligent men. Amen. Amen. Our forerunners through diligence worked hard and we've met this. And we have been handed the baton. We now have a race ahead of us and we must carry it diligently to the next generation amen life is divided in three portions we have the morning the afternoon and the evening if you fail to do if you fail to do what assignment you were given in the morning in the afternoon you have to add it to the afternoon duties and the evening if you don't do what you were supposed to do in the morning and the afternoon you have to combine the three you are here young whatever you are being taught here is like a game you gained through hunting but how do you roast it how do you add value hallelujah we're going to pray that lord turn me into a diligent man make me diligent and whatever I'm being handed here. I'll be able to add value. Hallelujah. I'll be able to add value. You're going to pray for that grace. A God, I pray for the spirit of diligence. Life is becoming harsher and harsher. But I pray that you go through it successfully. Amen. We're going to lift up our hands. And all you're going to pray is that Lord make these hands diligent hands that as our forerunners fought and today we are celebrating 90, 90 years whatever you hand over to me in this school i am going to roast it i'm going to add value that at the end of the day my divine destiny shall be established please open your mouth and begin to cry out unto the lord shall we begin to pray father we thank you in the name of jesus Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, that we will be diligent. Men in this house, we will have excellent spirits. Libros te katayaba. Lemo kamahandori e kapapa. Mikamos te bre katuyaba. Leme ste be e katayaba. Lomas to bro katayaba pe kata. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that every student standing here will be diligent with whatever you have assigned them to do. Father, I pray that none of them shall be cut short in their days. 
They shall grow up to be men of substance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Our next prayer, I'm taking from Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verses 16 and 17. The Bible says, A woe is a land whose ruler or whose king is a child. And the princes feast in the morning. But blessed is the land, the land whose king is the son of, noble, of a, no, a noble man. And the princes feast for strength and not for drunkenness. You will you'll be leaving this school and some of you will be entering into higher positions. If you don't pray and you don't seek God's face, you enter into a position and you still be a child. Africa is suffering because our kings are children. Our princes, they feast in the morning. When it is time for work, we are enjoying. I did a research work and I learned that the whites who ruled us, they set up staff common rooms and then uh, of, uh, I mean enjoyment centers where they go and meet after work and they plan. So the chief executive of this company will come in the evening, another chief executive will come in the evening and that is when whilst they are drinking they are planning when they left after independence when they left and we the africans took over we saw it as an avenue of enjoyment and that is where our fathers the leaders were bringing ladies with heavy duty bodies and it was time for enjoyment children who have become kings and africa began to slide in the mud may you never follow that path we're going to pray that you will not be a child when you grow up and leave this school one of the things i remember when i was in school our assistant headmaster mr kwaku may god bless his soul he came to our class we were making a lot of noise he entered we all sat down he said boys let me tell you one thing look outside the wall we all stood and we looked outside he said do you see the environment over there we said yes sir he said that place is very hot when you go beyond the walls it is very very hot i never understood until i finished school and entered into the world and then i remembered what he said the walls around here inside here is peaceful but when you step out it is a different game you are going to pray that the lord will not make you a child the lord will turn you into leaders and those who feast when i mean for for strength anything you do for enjoyment shall be for planning and for doing some good things not to feast and to lose your your divine destiny you are not going to rot and follow after our fathers who fail you are going to be a success i want you to open your mouth and begin to pray that lord when i leave this school may i be a leader a leader of substance may i not be a child a child who feasts in the morning when it is time for me to, to plan and to fail lord guide my footsteps guide my footsteps that I will be a prominent person and I'll be beneficial to the state. I'll be beneficial to my family. I'll be beneficial to the school. May I leave a legacy that will speak. May I leave a memorial that will speak in my stead when I am gone. I am pray and tell the Lord that any obstacle in my way, may the Lord remove it. May God himself hold my hand and lead me on and take me through life. Open your mouth, pray. Tell the Father, tell the Father, the Lord, Kabos de Brekata, Yama Kama Handoke Bres de Bea, Kimasu Toria Kababa. You will not be a child in position, you will not behave like a child. We shall be different. Every leader from here, it shall be said of us, he comes from the great school. Accra Academy. May we be leaders, outstanding leaders. May we carry the spirit of excellence. May we be children that are different amongst our peers. May we come on board and bring innovation. May we be students that will pass and pass well. May we be students that will hold the help of affairs and turn this nation into something else. I we believe the Lord is telling you to lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. 
From victory on to victory, his army shall be till every foe is vanquished and Christ is Lord in thee from victory from victory on to victory is our shall he Heavenly Father, behold your students, behold your children. Lord, I pray that excellent spirit that was found in Daniel, I pray over their lives. That excellent spirit that was found in Joseph, may it come upon your children. I pray that these ones are blessed. The spirit of excellence, the spirit of diligence shall guide them. None of them shall die before their time. Father, we pray that each and every one of us shall fulfill our divine mandate. You will satisfy every living soul here with long life, with long life, with long life. May the Lord himself uphold every hand here and take us through life and take us to our divine destiny. The Lord bless you. Amen. Let's do it better for him. Let's do it better for him. Thank you. You may be seated. Next on the program is offering, offer tree. We are going to take our offer tree. Please give, for it is said that we should give and it will be re replenished unto us in hundredfold. So we invite Master Joseph Arthur and friends the Lali Kumoti to lead us take our offering. Oh, Amen. Shall we please be upstanding? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we soak this offering, O oh God, in the blood. Pray that may it be sanctified in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so we begin by clapping. Clap, clap. <laughs> The answers will direct you as you are making the offering. Why are you going to say, when you hear a deed? Ah, so now Oh, 
tumbo da 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 ya tutuwo da 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 we can make a change ya kampu wo ya shira wo na ya tutuwo
Waba Yesu Asaya Yehali Asaya Yehali Asaya Yehali Asaya Yehali Asaya Yehali Asaya Yehali Many in the Mamana say, I am very never was. I am very never was. Many was. I was. I was. I For this offering, oh God, we pray that, oh God, wherever this money, oh God, coming from, we pray that may you bless that pocket, that, oh God, that pocket will never run out of money. We seal it with the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for an answered prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Master Joseph Arthur. Anytime he's here, I'm the one who has to come and stop him. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking like the bad person. The man was in the spirit, but I had to stop him. He's not a, a second. I don't want trouble, I beg. So please, you can sit down and clap for yourselves. Thank you very much. It's been a great service so far. Reverend Asedu, I, I want to call you Ola Blobi, Reverend Asedu. <laughs> Oblano is not quite the same. We prefer Ola. Yes, Ola, Ola, Ola. Thank you. Um, Dr. Reverend Dr. Blobi, Reverend Dr. Forsen, thank you also. Wonderful. Wonderful spiritual day. Even though it's a Saturday, every day has to be spiritual. Thank you. Now, we want to receive a message by the headmaster, but it's going to be done on his behalf by Mr. William Asu, assistant headmaster, domestic. So please give him a round of applause. Thank you, MC. The headmaster has asked me to extend his greetings to you. He is under the weather. That is why he's not been able to be with us here. Our guest speaker, board members present here, anniversary planning committee members, all protocols duly observed. It is with my joy that I find myself addressing you on behalf of the headmaster. God Almighty deserves a lot of praises and thanksgiving for bringing us this long journey of 90 years. It has not been an easy road, but I believe the supreme hand of God and hard work of all stakeholders have brought us this far. I wish on behalf of management, staff and students to salute the founding fathers of this great institution. As we celebrate the 90th anniversary of Accra Academy, I would like to use this medium to applaud all past and present stakeholders, government, 
board members, teaching and non-teaching staff, and students for the hard work to ensure the school continues to achieve greater height. Colleague teachers, let us in all honesty ask ourselves whether our school is improving or deteriorating over time. Ladies and gentlemen, the answer I leave it to each of you to answer, to give. Thank you, and God bless us all. Accra, 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 Accra. Thank you, thank you, Mr. William Asu. And um, let's give him another round of applause. And and soon, yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, please go ahead. Thank you so much, the microphone. Mr. Aloti. I would like to do a few more acknowledgments. So please bear with me. We have in our midst Mr. Nathan, Jonathan Anaman, Blow 81. Let's clap for him. We also have Abbas Ibrahim, Blow 2005. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. I'll hand over to Sir to continue. Okay. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Thank you. Um, I've just been informed that we still have a few more pledge forms. Events like these are not run on air and water. They run by money. Money is always important. It's not a be-all and end-all. Life is more important than all of that. But money also works. So um, those of you who are here... For the first time today, representing various year groups, um, you can pick up your pledge form if you were not here the other day. I think we covered almost a lot of the year groups. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Paul. Uh, we have a few other announcements. Um, this is the last of the events for this month, meaning June. In July, we're going to commission the music studio, the refurbished music studio by Blau 83, which happens to be my year group as well. So it's going to be in, in July, I believe, I believe the 21st. And um, seeing what this choir is doing, the future looks very bright. Not just the choir, the brass band, the band. Where's Mr. Sevier? We, we love your spirit. Somebody, well, Reverend Asedu just mentioned it. And it's not just today. You are an up and going guy. And it's not just you. I think you should give all the members of staff of this school, teaching and non-teaching staff, a round of applause for us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I was just telling, I was just telling, Miss Evelyn, my co-MC, how we loved the teaching staff when we were here. But not just loved them, and how we feared them too. <laughs> Dr. Fawcett. <laughs> Lobby, Mr. Kwao, am I lying? <laughs> yes, we feared them. But it was okay. We feared our seniors too. But soon they became like our friends. They're still our seniors, but we became colleagues. So life continues. Today we're here. What struck me about Reverend Asiedu's sermon was how we always have to give something back. So we're here today. Once upon a time, we were sitting right there and other old boys were standing here. We're standing here today. And tomorrow, it will be your turn to be standing here and, and doing the same things that we're doing. Nobody will do it for you. Hmm? I'll, I'll, I'll take you into a little history of this school. We punch above our weight. We're a very small school. We're the school that was built to educate the small gun people in Jamestown. We're not Achimota. 
We are not at the saddle. We are not Augustans. We are Accra Academy. And sooner than later, we were punching our weight with the big boys. So if you went to Blobby, distinguished Blobby, Argentetis funeral, then you know the story of Blow. And when I say punching above your weight, Blobby, Argentetis is the one we should always look up to about punching above our weight. Because we dared not, we, scared, we were scared by no one, we went and we punched above our weight. There's a man at Kolibu called Mr. Kuma. He's a surgeon. He was a long distance runner for Achimota School. And um, he always tells me this story about that, that, that weekend of athletics. And he won his long distance races. And Mr. A.K. Konoa, who happens to be my grandfather, was very angry. And he said to them, <laughs> For those of you who don't understand the guy, I'm sorry. This is Accra Academy. We are in Accra School. <laughs> You've been beaten by this kid. So when we get to Accra, I want you all to line up at the train station and give him a guard of honor. Because he beat you. But we won the cup. So remember. Always remember. You are always. Remember, always. You should always remember that. We always punch above our weight. Now we are with the big boys. But we are still punching above our weight. And it's what you do. From here. That tells who you are. Thank you very much Reverend Ezekiel Asidu. Thank you. All of you on stage. And um, we're going to finish this service. It's been a great service so far. With a closing hymn. Now thank we all our God. And I have to add that the next the other event for July is the Founders Day event and um, the actual date will be announced soon to all the various quarters so thank you very much Mr. Savior tell me when you're ready shall we all be up and standing Thank you so much for that powerful rendition. Let's take note of these announcements. Prep, there will be afternoon prep. Yes, afternoon prep at 2. 
So take note, students. At two, you should all be in your classrooms for the prep. Dining hall prefect, protocol prefect, after the program, make sure you arrange all the tables for us. Back to the dining hall. We invite our chaplain, Pastor Odum, to give us a closing prayer. Thank you very much. Please, shall we take the closing prayer? Our Most High God, we are thankful unto you for how far you've brought us. 90 years on, the road has not been easy, but it has been by your grace, it has been by your strength. It has been by your blessing that we have come this far, 90 years and beyond. We thank you for the inaugural service. Because without you, we can do nothing. Let this inaugural service be a memorial unto you that this 90th anniversary will be a great and a successful one. It is our prayer, O oh Lord, that let every wilderness be turned into a fruitful field as your spirit is poured upon us. Let every fruitful field become a forest. It is our prayer, O oh Lord, that you open up new opportunities New fountains be opened to the Accra Academy 90 years on in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever we have not been able to achieve before, may we achieve it as we celebrate the 90th year on in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, especially the science and mass quiz. We cry unto you, O Lord that you shall open a great door unto us a great door that nobody no man can stand before us let no man be able to stand before the Accra academy in the mighty name of the lord jesus may you strengthen us as we run oh god may we never be weary as we walk oh god may we never faint we pray for a new dimension to be open unto the Accra Academy. We have achieved a lot of successes. There is a lot of greatness. But still your promises concerning us has not all be fulfilled. We cry unto you like the way you fulfilled the promise for Abraham and Sarah that 90 years on they were able to have a son not an ordinary son, oh God but the chosen one let the Accra academy be the chosen school the chosen school the school that you have chosen for all schools to look up onto in the mighty name of the lord jesus 90 years on may they look upon the Accra academy and may they see your goodness may they see your favor in the mighty name of the lord jesus let that anointing come upon your student this year may we have the most successful result in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, we pray that you make a good stewards. Whatever you have entrusted into our hands, according to our several abilities, may we be able to go beyond 100%. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, make us faithful stewards, O God, that when you come, we shall be able to give a good account unto you. We thank you for all that are present here. May your blessing rest upon us in Jesus' name and all shall say Amen. have come to the end of the service.
we invite Reverend Dr. Fred Forsen to give us the benediction. Take note that as we recess, the choir will lead us, followed by the dignitaries and then the staff. All students will remain standing so all dignitaries file out. Thank you. Let's welcome Reverend Dr. Fred Forsen with a clap. Let's clap as we can. Shall we, shall we humbly be upstanding? If, if you permit me, if you can lift up your right hand. The Lord continue to bless and keep you. The Lord continue to cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord himself, the creator of the heavens and of the earth, lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace that surpasses all human understanding in jesus name amen for coming. Thank you so much. God richly bless you.
yeah. Oh na 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 na, hey yeah, hey oh oh. Love on the rise, yeah. Oh na 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 na, ah Life on the race and you can make it through. You got what it takes. You just need someone to hold, someone to lead, someone to make it the way. So as a life in the race, yeah, you got what it takes, yeah. You got what it takes, yeah. You just need someone to make it through. Wanted to catch me, but the eyes are blind, feelings intertwined. I wish they test me. We held the hands through the clouds, and now we can see. Most of the others left the pack, that's a bust to see. You built us up one by one, it's just the love within. With you on our side, it was no doubt we knew we'd always win. We started lame, five guys with a couple of strings, dedicated to the love of music. So you thought of things for benefit, we cherish it. This is just the evidence. You raised the confidence. I wrote this purposely for you because we couldn't show the love that we wanted to. But we had today, I missed all the obstacles. And Lord, I'm blessed to say that we made it through. That we made it through. O Z E F. Yeah. Made it through. He could not hold me down. I made it through. I'm not the only one, but I made it through. Had to contemplate when you think your life's refined by miseries All you ate for dinner Never a rich kid but richer than the emperor was Pre God will ink my lyrics and that was the major cause Why you sit down will listen and then applaud To greatness and hateless and be autistic Cause I feel like every time I spit it's just my instinct So listen I don't know where I'm heading But since the sense in my blood It definitely ain't heaven Dark and lovely ebony is what her skin would say Forget the cosmetics My queen was born this way She liked the horoscope I guess she fancy destiny But it never did My mama was the only so next to me Raised up in love with fear for only God When things were going wrong It taught me what to move towards My big brother grinding But I only got a plaque to show I pray the one that he'll be packing stellas from his show And be there when that's indigenous greatness He's the greatest silent I've ever seen But the world's trying to tame us Oh well, change this chapter before I go emotional And we don't want that That only make the song dysfunctional I made it to the top Because
na 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 hey yeah. hey oh oh love and rise yeah oh na 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 ah life and a race and you can make it through you got what it takes you just need someone to hold someone to lead someone to make it through way so as a life in a race yeah you got what it takes yeah you got what it takes yeah you just need someone to make it through Wanted to catch me, but the eyes are blind, feelings intertwined. I wish they test me. We held the hands through the clouds, and now we can see. Most of the others left the pack, that's a bust to see. You built us up one by one, it's just the love within. With you on our side, there was no doubt we knew we always win. We started lame, five guys with a couple of strings, dedicated to the love of music. So you thought us things for benefit, we cherish it. This is just the evidence. You raised the confidence. I wrote this purposely for you because we couldn't show the love that we wanted to. But we had today, I missed all the obstacles. And Lord, I'm blessed to say that we made it through. That we made it through. O C E F. Yeah. Made it through. He could not hold me down. I made it through. I'm not the only one, but I made it through. Had to contemplate when you think your life's refined by miseries. All you ate for dinner, never a rich kid, but richer than the emperor was. Free God will ink my lyrics, and that was the major cause. Why you sit down and listen, and then applaud to greatness and hateless and be autistic. Cause I feel like every time I spit, it's just my instinct. So listen. Made it through, he could not hold me down. I made it through, I'm not the only but I made it through, I made it through You just gotta hold on tight, you just gotta hold on tight I don't know where I'm heading But since the sense in my blood It definitely ain't heaven Dark and lovely ebony Is what his skin would say Forget the cosmetics My queen was born this way She liked the horoscope I guess she fancy destiny But it never did My mama was the only So next to me Raised up in love With fear and for only God But things were going wrong It taught me what to move towards My big brother grinding But I only got a plaque to show I pray the one that He'll be packing stellas From his show And be there When there's indigenous greatness He's the greatest talent I've ever seen but the world's trying to tame us, oh well Change this chapter before go emotional And we don't want that, that only make the soul dysfunctional
Christ, yeah. Oh, na 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 na, hey, yeah. hey, oh oh. Love and rise, yeah. Oh, na 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 na. Life and a race. And you can make it through You got what it takes You just need someone to hold Someone to lead Someone to make it through So as a life in a race, yeah You got what it takes, yeah You got what it takes, yeah You just need someone to make it through Wanted to catch me, but the eyes are blind, feelings intertwined. I wish they test me. We held the hands through the clouds, and now we can see. Most of the others left the pack, that's a bust to see. You built us up one by one, it's just the love within. With you on our side, there was no doubt we knew we'd always win. We started laying five guys with a couple of strings, dedicated to the love of music. So you thought of things for benefit, we cherish it. This is just the evidence. You raised the confidence. I wrote this purposely for you because we couldn't show the love that we wanted to. But we had today, I missed all the obstacles. A lot of blessed to say that we made it through. That we made it through. O Z E F. Yeah. Made it through. He could not hold me down. I made it through. I'm not the only one, but I made it through. Had to contemplate when you think your life should find by miseries. All you ate for dinner, never a rich kid, but richer than the emperor was. Pick up with ink my lyrics, and that was the major cause. Why you sit down and listen, and then applaud to greatness and hateless and be autistic. Cause I feel like every time I spit, it's just my instinct. So listen. I don't know where I'm heading But since the sense of my blood It definitely ain't heaven Dark and lovely ebony Is what a skin would say Forget the cosmetics My queen was born this way She liked the horoscope I guess she fancy destiny But it never did My mama was the only So next to me Raised up with love With fear and for only God But things were going wrong It taught me what to move towards My big brother grinding But I only got a plaque to show I pray the one day He'll be packing stellas From his show And be there When there's indigenous greatness He's the greatest silent I've ever seen But the world's trying to tame us Oh well Change this chapter Before I go emotional And we don't want that That only make the song dysfunctional I made it to the top Because
Alicia. Oh na 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 na, hey yeah, hey oh oh. Love and Alicia. Life and a race, and you can make it through. You got what it takes, you just need someone to hold, someone to lead, someone to make it through. So, as a life and a race, yeah, you got what it takes, yeah. What it takes, yeah. You just need someone to make it through life in the race, yeah. Yeah, what it takes, yeah. Life in the race, yeah. All you need is the focus, and you're gonna make it. They wanted to kiss me, but it has a blind feeling to try to wish they test me. We held the hands through the clouds, and now we can see. Most of the others left the pack, that's a bust to see. You built us up one by one, it's just the love within. With you on our side, it was no doubt we knew we'd always win. We started lame, five guys with a couple of strings, dedicated to the love of music. So you thought of things for benefit, we cherish it. This is just the evidence. You raised the confidence. I wrote this purposely for you because we couldn't show the love that we wanted to. When we had today, I missed all the obstacles. A lot of them blessed to say that we made it through. That we made it through. O Z E F. Yeah.